Many people want their own compressor and they start looking at places like eBay. Ooh, what's this? A cheap compressor from eBay to fill up dive bottles. The Yong Hang. Is it any good? Well, I've had one for four months. Let me tell you about it. Hi there YouTubers, it's Steve here from Ergonology. In this channel we do a whole load of um, reviews on air rifles, air pistols and technology. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And um, also don't forget to check out underneath the video description, you'll find a link in there to all of our Facebook, our forums and our 3D printer section where you can buy and sell all sorts of stuff. Check it out, loads of good goodies in there. But anyway, we're outside at the moment, you'll hear the birds, it's such a nice day. You're going to hear some traffic and maybe some fire engines and Ambulances, but uh, we'll, we'll persist. It's, well, let's do a video outside for a change. And um, we're in the middle of lockdown as well. So, you know, the old problem is how do I get my air bottle filled? I'm not allowed to go out and go and get it filled or anything like that. And I don't have a hand pump. So, if I was going to hand pump something like my Zazdar with the quick fill attachment on here, not a problem. But if I wanted to fill up my rifles and the amount that I shoot, yeah, you know, I don't have a pump and I like to use my dive bottle. So, a lot of you guys are looking at these compressors. So, you can get multiple different compressors ranging up to a thousand three thousand pounds like the day state one to the nomad which you can use just for your air rifles as well um, but this is one of those compressors that will fill your dive bottles or will fill your rifles as well using your standard fosters and high pressure link kits so I want to make this really clear as well that this review is only on this particular brand of compressor yes it is Chinese um, it is called the Yong Heng you can recognize it because it'll have it written on it in bright white letters on a blue case there's loads of other believe it or not ripoffs of a chinese ripoff out there um, by all means they're cheaper by all means check them out if you want to but you know this review is on basically if you're gonna get one and you're not sure it's one of these that you want the yong heng written on it in a blue case so this will like i said will fill up to uh, 300 bar for your rifles or your dive bottles um, and you you can do that um, using your mains and simple water cooling that this system uses so it's recommended for those guys that basically want to fill your top up your bottles once months a week or something like that if you're looking at one of these for a club no these are not designed to be running 24 7 a day or something like that and filling up hundreds at all it's just not designed for that it's really for personal usage out there so like I'm saying you can get these on Amazon you can get them on eBay I'll leave some links down below but they come in four versions um, the first version is their basic which is about 300 quid now the way they list them is it's like 150 pound and then 150 pound shipping it's 300 quid the basic version i don't recommend you get that i recommend you get this one which they call the boutique or the hard case version again make sure it's got hong yang written on it this has extra protection to protect the engine from seeping oil into your actual dive bottle as well this is the one i recommend you get it's about 300 pound 350 pound ish your next one that you get then is what they call the auto cut off when it hits 300 bars it will shut off i don't recommend recommend you get one of those two reasons one I'll show you later and the second reason is you should never be leaving these unattended ever and then the fourth one is their, 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 their deluxe version which they call a custom cutoff where you can set the the actual pressure you want it to switch off at again I don't see the point in wasting the extra money on that and for the safety and the reasons I'll show you later but anyway let's walk around the whole unit how does it all work you'll get it this is effectively what you'll get obviously you'll get the whip side of it here which is a high pressure side and you'll also get a what they call your um, submersible water pump so that it can do its water cooling so let's just walk around the unit if we just spin it around a little bit you'll need to put oil into this and it needs to be a pacific oil it needs to be iso vg type 46 hydraulic oil you do not get any so when you order one of these make sure you order some oil as well um, i'll leave a link amazon i've got five liters of it for 20 quid uh, prime delivered next day it drinks oil when that oil goes dark change it it will prolong the life of this unit itself so you take the cap off you fill the oil up to the level indicated cap back in you're good to go always check that oil 
On the other side, we have two pressure releases. These are just no nubs, just like the pressure release that you get on your bottle. Um, these are here to release the pressure of the unit. I'll show you how to use them later. We have the actual whip itself. Now inside this part of the whip, there is actually some air filters. Um, and these just take out particle and dust and stop them from going into your bottle. They're not um, water strippers at all. They're just air strip, um, particle strippers. Um, so you can take the top off. They give you loads of spares, loads of O-rings as well. And then what you'll actually get is you'll just get a female end on here. So you can plug that in as a standard Foster's female. You can plug that into your rifle, but if you're filling up your dive bottle with a Foster's, then you're going to need also is a male-to-male -male Foster's converter. Um, Nice and simple, about five pound. Again, I'll leave you some links on there. So if you're gonna buy one of these, two things you're gonna need, oil and a male-to-male -male foster so you can fill up your dive bottle and then you should be good to go. Um, we have a pressure gauge at the top here and we have an emergency blast cap here in case the pressure gets too high, something goes wrong, that should explode out and save the unit itself. And apart from that, there are some other bits and pieces, some other little filters, but you know, I won't go too much into details. It is a 1800 kilowatt engine in here, if for those that wanna know, and it does about 30 litres, 50 litres per minute. But um, let's um, see how we got it. We've got it all set up here. Let's explain how it all works. So the very first thing you're going to need is some water for water cooling. This whole thing is water cooled. Now, two major things you've got to watch out with this unit as well is you should never run it for more than 30 minutes at one go and you should never let it get above 80 degrees centigrade in temperature. So if you're filling up a dive bottle from empty, it'll take you about 40 minutes with this. So you're gonna to need to do it in two stages. I let my bottles go down to about, um, about 180, 170 bar, and then I top them back up to 280-ish. Takes about 10 minutes. I hardly ever go over 55, 60 degrees on here. Runs for about 10 minutes. If you're in a really hot country, a lot of people will be sometimes use ice water as well, or sometimes they upgrade the actual pump itself and put a bigger pump to get more water flow through there. But if you're using this to top up your tanks like I do, not a problem, bucket of water nicely, even on a sunny day like this. So let's walk through it and show you how it all works. So first thing we need to do, is make sure we've got water in here. Um, we've got water in our, in our bucket here. We've got our pump is in there. Everything's connected up. We've got oil, it's nice and clear. It's good to go. Close the bleed valve on the actual uh, all closed up on the bottle, all ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the actual unit and make sure that we've got water flow. And we've got water flow coming through. If you've got no water flow, then obviously the engine won't call and you're gonna damage the unit. So make sure you've got water flow. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run you through actually running, I'll leave it running for about 10, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. And then when I switch it down, you'll see I'll do it specifically by releasing these, then switching the unit off and then closing the valves down. And I'll explain after why I do that. So let's get this up and running and show you how loud. It's about 80 decibels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the valve up. And I'm about 250 bar at the moment and we'll switch it on. And uh, we switched it off. So you'll notice the way that I've switched that off is basically I've released the pressure first, then I've closed the valves and switched the unit off. And the reason behind that is this is a high compression pump and it's used to pushing um, and it's pushing away against the solid resistance. And if you just switch this off immediately or close the valve down, it's going to damage your engine, uh, your bottle in there. And careful, that is hot. <laughs> That's why it's water cooled. So I recommend, and a lot of people do recommend this, is that you release the valves here first, you then free the tension up on the motor, then you switch it off and close your valve down. And this is why most people, including myself, would not recommend getting the auto cutoffs. Two reasons, like I said, that exact reason I just explained, and the other reason is you should never ever be running a compressor on its own without it being watched. And on that note, when I run this normally, I normally put it in the garage. I have the bottle facing out so that I can see the pressure. I close the door and I look for a crack in the door. Um, and if there's any problems, hopefully I've got something solid between me and the compressor, and then I can go in and switch it off as and when I need to. So that's the simple operation of it. It's fairly loud. Um, it's about 80 decibels. It's about you know, like a, a, um, a petrol lawnmower sort of loudness for you. So fairly simple, fairly easy to use. Like I said, to top up from about 180 up to 300 bar is about 10 minutes for me on there, nice and simple. To fill up your rifle, 
up to 200 bar let's say a red wolf probably take you about a minute if that if you want to do that so what do i think about it all what do i think well definitely some pros and cons pros it's really cheap actually, 300 quid, let's just say this version, 350 pounds, well worth it. When you think about your petrol costs and your recharge fills um, on there, it could easily pay for itself quite quickly if you shoot quite a lot like I do. Um, it's portable, yes, yes, it's quite heavy, but you can just throw it in the corner of your garage, fire it up, it's not that loud, um, and yeah, it's very useful. It's great for those guys that basically live out in the sticks or don't want to have all that time backwards and forwards uh, filling up their tanks. Um, you can get multiple versions, but like I said, the version, this one, the boutique or the hard case version is definitely the one to get. And it is reliable. Um, I've been running this quite a lot now, and there's lots of people out there have got this particular version, the Yongheng version, um, no issues. As long as you look after it, make sure the oil's clear, um, you change the oil regularly, um, you release the pressure like we have on when you close it all down. It actually, if you look after it, it will look after you as well. And you get nice and loads of good spares in here, O-rings, filters, and etc on here and of course it means i've got free air especially during this lockdown period it's actually really really handy so what about some of the cons well definitely one of the cons with it is is that uh you do not get this foster's fitter um this two part here and you don't get any oil um, they're not allowed to ship the oil when they ship from china so you make sure you get oil make sure you get um, one of these connectors as well the other downside is is it doesn't have any water moisture stripping in it um, so for those that don't know when you compress air you also can press the water vapor which means water vapor can get in your bottles or your rifle and can cause rusting um, so I'm actually going to go and invest and get a, a separate water stripper that sits between here and the bottle and basically that has a whole load of material that strips water out about a hundred pound for a high pressure kit I'll leave some pictures around I'm sure some of you guys have done it already I'd love to hear your comments which ones to get um, it does get hot I just did it earlier on today yes that does get hot be careful with it um, with the water for those in really hot countries ice water might help or just run it for shorter periods of time um, and one of the other downsides you can only run this for about 30 minutes then you've got to let it cool down and never above 80 degrees but just look after it it will look after you and the other thing to watch out for is that you're buying this from China so you could take to two to four weeks for it to get here and you might actually get hit for extra import duties as well so just be careful with that you know what customs and excise are like for hitting you for extra import duties but overall do I recommend it for those that want something to top up their dive bottles independently yes i definitely recommend it it's actually a very good product make sure like i said and i keep emphasizing this it's one of these ones hong yang uh yong hang on here with the right writing blue top none of the other cheap knockoffs you'll, you'll certainly know the other ones because they'll be a lot cheaper and a lot of people have problems i'd love to know what your thoughts are and i know lots of you guys have got them i know lots of you guys have had some of the alternative cheaper ones as well love to know your thoughts and comments and um, look after each other and be safe and see you on the next video